about six years. And uh, so what are you doing uh, as far as the ride? I ride with the rest of the house, yes. Why do you come out? Oh, to help the woman, so breast cancer and all that stuff. You're giving him his awfully soft. <laughs> I want you to yell. Why are Hello. you here? Why are you here? I'm coming here to support the bikers uh, and women of breast cancer. Talk to me. 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 To enjoy, to enjoy the day and support the... Is this your first year? Oh, you've okay. been here for a couple of years already. Right? Okay. Um, what's your feeling here? I mean, this is a... We've got a great day and this is a good cause, obviously. So, what, how do you feel? The whole deal is, you know, to support the women, you know, with breast cancer and uh, to enjoy the, the day. Do you know anybody who uh, has breast cancer? Any family members? Any friends? Well, I have... Uh, Friend that died of breast cancer. Really? Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, four. Four your family breast cancer. Are they all survivors? Yeah, they're all survivors. That's good. Okay. Good guys. All right. All right. Okay. Well, first of all, you have to know that we're all raffling off a 2008 Fat Boy Anniversary Edition. Take a look at this beautiful bike. I want it so badly. And there's a man who is selling raffle tickets to everybody who wants to uh, fork over the money. So, Mikey, how are our sales going? We're doing okay. We have a little over four today's event, 1,600 tickets sold. And we're selling pretty good today. So, and all the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. Well, because it's an anniversary bike and it's a numbered bike, I would say yes. You know, but again, it's a preference. Okay, all right. So, we've got a bike to give away. We've got t-shirts to sell. We've got pins. 15 each, we've got two for 25. We've got a beautiful woman here. Give Take your money. I'm free. So, what are people saying about our t-shirts? Uh, I know, but... Uh, you start saying she's a bat? Because she looks like me. <laughs> That's 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 four. Now this is the 15th year. That's last year. This is the 15th. This is the 15th year. The raffle tickets don't even say on them. Okay. All right. So we'll find. It's a mystery. We're gonna we're gonna we're on a we're on a, we're on a mission to find out what year this is. It's the 15th. He says it was because because I looked at the uh, registration and they still say 14. We have a little guest here from Full Throttle, so thanks for coming out, first of all. My pleasure, my pleasure to be here. So what, what's your impression so far? I mean, we're just getting started, bikes are still rolling in. Okay, as, as always, um, when these events take place, I'm like fascinated with the fact that how much of the motorcycle community gets together and does charitable work. I mean, for me in my heart, like, I, you know, when was the last time you seen, like, a thousand Fiats rolling down doing toys for tots, man. This is bikers, man. This is the motorcycle community, and it makes me proud not only to be part of it, but it makes me, me proud to actually, I'm working for Full um, Throttle Magazine, and I get to actually cover these events and write and talk to people about it. What would you say if I tell you that we are uh, possibly going to cross the million mark? As far as money raised um, You know something, I was just talking to a gentleman about, um, they, they said they have had a couple of years where, you know, the rain and the weather, you know, wasn't too conducive to this, and he just told me this today, and today I had the personal pleasure of meeting an individual who turned over a bunch of checks in the amount of $5,000 on one shot inside, so I'm like, I'm going to grow some hair. <laughs> That's how excited I am. Okay, so give me your name. So okay, my name is Frank Lunetta. Okay, and I ride. How long have you been riding? Um, probably since I'm a kid. Okay. 
you know, all your life. Legally, I've been riding. No, you know, all my all my life I've been riding. I I I was on hiatus for a while. I took like maybe 15 years off. I was doing other things, and I just got back into it when I turned 50 last year. So I bought a brand new bike. I quit smoking, and uh, you know. Called, uh, the, the best part of your life. That, right. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Well, we really appreciate you coming out, giving us some coverage for the magazine, and uh, looking forward to uh, your article. Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, great. Um, this is about, I think it's my fourth or fifth year already, uh, and uh, this event. Yeah. So do you know any people who suffer from breast cancer? Uh, yes, I have a friend of my wife's that works uh, with us. Uh, she's been through uh, breast cancer. And she's a survivor. That's great. Yeah. How do you feel when you're there? It's, it's, it's great. I mean, I, I, I can't miss this no matter what or where I'm at. I got to make sure I'm here for this because it's, it's a great cause. It's, it's just something that uh, you know we should be doing a lot. Of, other people should be doing for for, for breast cancer. So it's like uh, it's, it's a good feeling. It's really nice to, to be able to come out and do this for, for this cause, and, and I'm happy. I'm always happy for, for this cause. Would you give a shout out to all your friends? Yes, shout out to everybody out there, and uh, take your steel. Peace. <laughs> take it easy, guys. You're gonna get me in trouble with all that. <laughs> New York's classic rock, Q1043 here in Harley Davidson in Long Island City. Right on Northern Boulevard. It's a beautiful day, and he's fighting for the best breast company. And they are tons of bikes. Well, first of all, before we roll, get really into the story, what is your name? John Ayanta. I... Ayanta. 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 That sounds Indian. Italian. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> all right. So, um, why do you come out to these rallies? Uh, to donate my time and money to breast cancer. So... It's something I'm very, uh, Adamant about. Yeah. How, do you, how do you feel about the event? And, and the uh, event is great. You know, they collect a lot of money and find a cure for breast cancer. I have uh, been doing this run probably for about five years now, six years maybe. Yeah. Uh, donated four cars to American, American Breast Cancer Society. Um, just recently I donated one. So any money I can get that to the, for the cause, I have some very dear friends that uh, have had breast cancer and are surviving. It seems like almost everyone we talk to, somebody knows somebody or has a family member that's affected by a breast cancer. Yeah. One well, of my dear friends, Lori. She's, uh, she's a survivor. Survivor. Yeah. Happy to hear that. So, uh, did you come alone? Did you bring some friends? No, I came alone, but uh, my friend and his wife are here. They're also uh, doing the run also. Okay, so connected with them. All right, that's good. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Much. John. Yep. All right. I actually bought the bike here in 2004. My first run was 2005. So what's that? Two, a couple of years. You got the color going, so that's good. And, and did you? Uh, how many friends did you bring with you? Um, actually, I came with White Plains Hog. Uh, there's about uh, ten of us in the group, but I also had friends here who came down from Vermont. With Vermont. Vermonters, yes, we have Vermonters here in the house with us. So, uh, why do you come to the Bikers Against Breast Cancer? What's about? Is there anything special about this particular rally that's close to your heart? Absolutely. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you know any people who are dealing with breast cancer? Uh, personally, I almost had a scare, but yeah, there, there are some women and uh, that have gone through that process, and they've actually come through it, and some of them have it. So uh, I come here to support every woman and everybody's wife, sisters, and you know, it's something close and near and dear. And then what you ride? Uh, Harley, 2004 Harley Dyna Low Rider. Rider. Okay. You want to come on my bike? <laughs> so, but uh, so when did you start riding? Uh, 1985. Very good. Very good. So you started when you were a kid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey. Hi. Very good. All right. Thank you. For your time. Thank you so much. Take care. Good Have to meet fun. You. Carmen Junior.
So, uh, are you down visiting or are you going no, for just, the ride? Just, just for the ride. Just for the ride? Just for the ride. We love you. Thank you. All right, so is this your first This is my first one. Your yeah. first ride yeah. with Microsoft yeah. Breast Cancer. We, All right, so what's your impression? What are you thinking? It's awesome. I mean, we don't have, we, ne we don't get any near this many bikes in Vermont unless we're doing like the Rolling Thunder. So. Did you go to Rolling Thunder last week? No, I was busy. Oh, okay. well, that's right. So. So, uh, what are you riding? Uh, an 05 Brocade. Brocade. Yeah. And how many people did you bring with you from Vermont? Uh, we had four come down with us, three bikes. Okay, great. So, uh, what are you going to go back and tell people in Vermont about this rally? That it, the weather cleared up for the ride, so it should have been here. It's an awesome ride. Okay, thanks Chris. Appreciate right. you being here. about today's turnout so far? So far, it uh, looks pretty good, but I'd like to see a lot more bikes show up. Hopefully at the last minute, yeah. we'll get a lot more bikes coming in. Well, it's still early. Yeah, usually at the end, we get the most people coming in. So hopefully it uh, works out that way. Seen any strange characters yet? Yeah, all my <laughs> friends. <laughs> How many years you been doing bikers? Uh, let's see, that's my fifth or sixth year. We have to count the pins? Yeah, I got to count the pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven years. Okay, good. All right, so we'll catch with you later. Okay. All right, so you come down from uh, White Plains to the chapter. How many years have you been doing Bikers Against Breast Cancer? This has uh, got to be my fifth or sixth. Yeah, so how many guys do you bring with you? Uh, probably about 20. Thank you very much. It's good, a pleasure. Good. So, Bikers Against Breast Cancer, do you know any people who are dealing with breast cancer? Yes, I do. And are they alright? Are they survivors? Or? Uh, surviving, but other things are happening. So does that make this more important to you? <laughs> it would be important anyway, but it certainly makes it a little more personal. What if I told you that we may call the million dollar mark with uh, today's rally for the money we've raised in 15 years? I'd say let's make it two million next ah, year. All right. That's wonderful. That's a great number. So, uh, you came down and uh, you've got all these guys. These are all White Plains chapter members. Yeah, yeah. Some of my uh, freaky uh, friends okay, and freaky, brothers. Freaky friends. I think okay. My wife's a double breast survivor. Really? Yeah. And lung cancer. Wow. She had lung cancer, quarter of a lung and lung cancer, breast cancer 18 years ago. And she survived that. And then uh, after we got married, she got breast cancer again. We've been married 13 years. She uh, is 100% clean of the, of the cancer. She went to Sloan Kettering. And uh, then we both quit. We were smokers, and we both quit. And she developed lung cancer four years after we quit. So she had a quarter of her lung removed. And, uh, you know, needless to say, now she's doing fine. Her hair grew back last year. And, uh, you know, she takes medication for the rest of her life. She has to get checked. Every six months, she goes to Sloan Kettering, you know, to get it early, obviously, that's the key. And uh, she's doing fun. What is your name? Uh, Girardi, J. Girardi, J. Girardi? Yeah. And what's your name? Janice. Janice Girardi. Yeah. Be sure to tell her we all send our, our, our great wishes to her and for her, you know, continued strength and recovery. And what a courageous woman she is. Yeah, she won't, she's so courageous, she won't get on the back of that bike. <laughs> she knows what danger is. <laughs> she knows. She's an odd fight cancer, but I'm not yeah. getting on the back well, of that bike. Well, that's what she told me. She says, I've been through enough in my life. I don't need that. <laughs> she's got enough so, fight in her Yeah. Life. So she stays at home. She supports me 100%. I go to all day. Anything to do with cancer, I try to get, make my contribution to whatever ride is out there. You know, time allowance. She's the reason that we're doing this. Very, very happy to hear that she's, she's doing it. All those who don't make it, the stories of those who do are really, you know, it's just an inspiration to everybody. But it's to, amazing. To get you out said there and do it. How many years ago there was the first bout? 15 years. I mean, I, probably two, over 20 years. And then it came back. We, but, but to survive 15, 20 years ago, yeah, when, well, they didn't have, when they didn't have the treatments that they had. No, no, they didn't. And she went to Westchester, uh, you know, over on Gisco. And, uh, after that, she went to Sloan Kettering because she was advised by everyone that if you're going to get treated, that's the place to go. That is the best in the world. 
in the car. Get in the car. Come on down to the Yep. I'm going to talk her into it right now. Every once in a while, she goes, let me sit on the back and go through the parking lot. I said, watch this. We're going to be in Kmart. You're going to have more problems than you want on the open road. Exactly. So. Tell her we'd love to have her come down and just have a good night. You're welcome. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. So, uh, tell, talk to me. You're the safety officer. Uh, how, are, how are the troops behaving? Well, everybody's behaving very well. You know, I mean, we have the police department here checking on license, registrations, making sure everybody rides safely. And, um... What, are we, what ride are we doing? This is Bikers Against Breast Cancer. No, where are we going? Are we well, going to do a short ride? We're actually, a... we're probably going to do a short ride because uh, there's actually another parade in the city. So uh, we'll have a short ride over to Forest Hills Park. Where we'll have a live band, barbecue, and everybody will have fun. So we're in our 15th year. How long have you been with us doing this rally? About seven of the 15 I've been riding with, with the chapter. And uh, anything uh, you want to give a shout out to the guys about? Yes, ride safely. Always wear your helmets. Serving alcohol is probably a good idea, also. Yes, we all. Uh, Neil, what's your last name? Bud, B U D D. B U D D. And Bogey, I know, only know you as Bogey. Bogot. Okay, but Michael. That's how we got to be Bogey. Bogey. Yeah. Okay. So you're back. I'm back. When did you come back? Uh, November. I back. Yeah. So just they made you an offer you couldn't refuse? No, I made them an offer. They <laughs> you <laughs> need. <laughs> yes, we needed it. So. So how much uh, attention does uh, having a rally here bring to the dealership? A lot. I mean, this is the 15th year for us. I didn't realize it was that many. Look how full the street is. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just getting started. Yeah, and the weather's beautiful. So. Yeah, it, it is a gorgeous day. Great. Yeah, yeah and uh, we may pass the million dollar mark for uh, the cool. money that we've raised for breast cancer, which is today. And we get a good cool. All right, so we'll let you get back to work. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Anytime. Have a great one. Take care. So, what hey, does uh, having a rally yeah. at a dealership like this uh, do for dealership? Well, it brings awareness to, to breast cancer, which is what we like to do. When it raises money for the, for the breast cancer fund, and um, <laughs> you know, look at you. Okay. And as far as dealerships are it brings in customers. They maybe find a different bike that they might they may want to ride. They different t-shirts, uh, revenues up, you know. What are you hearing from the people who are showing up for the rally? Or? Everybody loves it. The weather is the weather's beautiful today, so we're going to get a couple thousand people easily. And the ride goes through all five all five boroughs. It's a nice, safe ride. The NYPD comes out with the highway patrol, and uh, they give us a nice escort, block off all the roadways, and they take us out to uh, Forest Park, and there's music there, and there's a little cookout going on. So that's very friendly. So what would you say if I told you we uh, made past our million-dollar mark for money we've raised for uh, American have we really? That's such a beautiful thing. I'm so happy that we're able to, to, get, to get that done. And uh, unfortunately, um, we'll help a lot, of, a lot of young ladies out there. And my buddy Neil. Partner in crime. Neil? <laughs> yes, we're partners in crime. All right, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Okay. No, I've done. Uh, I've been working here for just over two years, so I've done two past events. Um, the first one was very close to when I first started, and um, at that point we were open Sundays, so I watched everybody leave as I sold a guy his uh, Dyna Lowrider. So then I uh, rode to the event after. Oh, great! Well, yeah. that was a good day for you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, um, what's coming up? Coming in bikes and talking. Well, uh, 
this year, um, I've heard that they're, they've had an incredible amount of donations, that they're uh, raising tons of money for breast cancer, which is, you know, the reason why we're all here. Um, beautiful turnout. A lot of people here, a lot of people looking at the new bikes and talking about, well, what's mine worth if I were to trade it in, that kind of thing. So, you know, we try not to get too serious today with selling bikes, but, um, you know, we're here to offer information, give out brochures, you know, set up appointments for later in the week. You can't get bikers together with new bikes and not talk bikes. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so. Every time I come here, I drool over all the bikes. I've been but. riding steadily. Yep. Yep. So, anyway, yeah. thank you. Appreciate You're welcome. It. Enjoy the day.
Rock number one. Like the first cancer, 2008. Hey, thanks everybody for your hard work and uh, just want to thank everybody that, that contributed. Selling raffle tickets, cooking food, you know, parking vehicles, setting up in the morning. I want you guys to know that it's appreciated. Thanks, man. You guys are number one. So how happy are you about today's trip? I am thrilled. The weather couldn't have been better. So many bikes, and I would say that we probably raised very close to $50,000. So I'm very excited. So we're like inching close to that million dollar you are, mark. You are not inching, you are footing. You're footing close to that million dollar mark. 15 years, over three quarters of a million dollars. It seems to get better every year. I, I, I just think that there's so many people though who care about the cause. Uh, we talked to a lot of guys and, and women too. Everybody knows somebody who's had breast cancer. Absolutely. It, it's unfortunately cancer does not discriminate. Age, color, nationality, it does not discriminate. As a matter of fact, one of um, your chapter members was telling me he just lost a friend 37 years old to breast cancer. So unfortunately, we have to keep raising money. You guys have to keep doing this run so that we can put an end to uh, breast cancer. So how many years have you been doing this? 13 years. This is my 13th year. Um, actually, this uh, last year and this year were my first two rides that I actually rode, which is awesome because you really um, you don't appreciate the event until you ride it. So it's it's just amazing what the chapter does. It, it, it's unreal, unreal. Anything you would change about what we're doing? No. No. Nope. I just let me ride every year. <laughs> okay, we have to get you a bike. Gotta get me a bike. Get me a bike. I got my honorary vest. Okay. Next Turn is the bike. Turn around. Give us a... Okay. Oh, wait. She's got my patch. She's got... I want this patch. Okay. You gotta wrestle me for it. <laughs> might win. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you wanna give a shout out to anybody? No. Just to all of you. Great job. Hog Chapter. New York City. Yay. Very much. We love you. We love you. Thank you. Okay, let's rock and roll. months back, but I've been Wait, missing the meeting. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Alright, all right. so was this your first bike race against breast cancer? Uh, first, yeah, first run with that. Alright, so what'd you think? Good run, organized, had a nice showing of the blue guys out there, you know. I would have liked to have seen some beers for sale here. I'll, re I'll recommend that at the next hog yeah, meeting, yeah. fellas. You know? Yeah, we got a little liability issues Yeah, I know, I know. That's right, next time I'll bring the beers. Okay, definitely. Okay, so alright, that's the one thing you would change. So, um, what do you think about the event itself as far as raising money? For I think, it's, I think it's great. You know, it's a good cause. It's a night. We had a good show of force today. You know, a lot of guys came out. It looks like everybody was, was reasonably organized. Everybody was good. <laughs> Nobody went down. You had great weather. Everybody was here. What more could yes. you ask for? Cool. Thanks. Hi. How are you? You can go the other way. I don't ride yet. What would you think of the rally? I think it's great. It's uh, for a good purpose, and we're having a good time tonight or today. Listen to music. It's great. A lot of good people. Fun to meet everybody. So are you inspired to get your own bike? Yeah, I think so. I better. Huh? <laughs> I'm inspired to get my own bike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a I'm little sidecar. Either. We'll get a little sidecar. I can ride on the side there. So yeah. You can try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Second time at the at the yeah. uh, this right. Yeah, she was here last year with her dad. So. Yeah. So, so I love it. I'm hooked. 
your hooks. That's good. Well, we really definitely appreciate you coming out and supporting the cause. Well, thank you. We hope to see you back next year. Next with year. Your own with our own bike. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. Take care.
talk to you for a minute, all right? Don't go anywhere, Laurie, so. All right, so we had like 500, 550 bikes or something like that? 512, last count for me. 512, okay. All right, so how does this year compare to other years for you? Uh, it's always a good year. Always a good year. <laughs> so, and... Make, excuse me, make sure I get them. Have you please. been, this is our 15th year? Have you been here that long? Since 99. 99, okay, so not quite back all the way to the beginning. No. All right, so, uh, and... I mean, you're our tail gunner. What's it look like from the back when you're seeing it? It's you? absolutely unbelievable. It really is. It's unbelievable too, especially going up, uh, going up the Williamsburg Bridge, and I'm at the base, and I see everybody, two lines of bikes, all the way up the top of the hill and over. Great. Where were the people along the way? Were there people watching? Yeah, the biggest they... participation uh, from the crowd was not uh, as good as I like it to be. But the problem is, they don't know what we're doing. Okay, we have they to do, don't know we what they're doing. We have to change that. Absolutely. We've talked about that every year. All right? All right. That's one thing we have to do. We've got to get a flag that says Bikers Against Breast Cancer. We've got to get one for the front and one for the right. back. Right. This year we had a, we did have a van tail gunning. So at least at the at the end people were pissed off, oh! aggravated about the traffic. At least at the end they saw what we were doing. Yes. But we need something in the front, something in the middle, something okay, in the back. So that's something we're going to work on for next year. Okay. All right. Al Tail Gunner. All right. There we go. articles from which I hope to choose at least one. I'm gonna have a lot of pictures, which is great because the, this year I took a lot of pictures. Okay. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have at least a um, center, uh, center page. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, well, 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 Bikers Against Breast Cancer, this is my fifth. Okay, so how does this year stack up compared to the others? The weather is better. And there was no accidents, which was really great. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have the drawing soon, and I know people are ready. And everybody's got their money in, so... Okay. That's right. Hopefully okay. we raised a lot of money this year, just like just like we did last year. So like we're like this close to a million dollars. Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Diva. Okay. So what's your impression this year? I think it was, um, well, it was a phenomenal ride. We had a good turnout, I think, mostly because of the weather. Um, that has really helped. Uh, last year they had a lot of other rides going on, which I know they didn't have this year, so that helped a lot. Um, and we advertise. You know, we really push it. I think we really do. I, the club is very strong about pushing the breast cancer run. It's an important event. For 15 years, in 15 years we've raised a million dollars. In 15 years, it's like 66000 a year, which is a uh, pretty, pretty good number for, 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 for a small group. We make a big difference. What does it make you feel like when you're here? Because one, you're a woman, and this is a, a disease that affects women so greatly. And, and two, you're you know, part of the club, so it's something we do. Right, yeah, it's, um, it's so important. It's so important that we make people aware that breast cancer is a disease. It is, it's, it's one of the worst diseases that are affecting women right now. And the more people that are aware and involved and contributing, it's a step closer. I always find that whenever uh, people find out I ride a Harley, and then, but then I tell them, Bikers Against Breast Cancer, it doesn't matter who it is, they go, oh, sure. You know, oh, absolutely, great without cause. a doubt. Yeah, great cause. Um, nobody ever turns down boobs. <laughs> How do you turn down health boobs? <laughs> right. Move help. We're going to protect those, those breasts out there. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Okay. So good job. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yourself as well, Carmen. She was a great little we cook love, today. We love Kathy. Woo. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you came all the way up from uh, Florida to, uh, to be with us. I, I had did. other things to do, but so um, how's it feel to be home? It's nice. New York's nice in the summertime. I stay out uh, in Huntington with my brother and sister-in-law and just... Uh, get back into the swing of things with the hard chapter and 
How many years have you been doing the Bikers Against Blessed Cancer? Is this uh, uh, multiple years for you, This right? is probably, I think, I've been in hog eight years, probably since 2000. I've been riding since like 80, okay. 78, but got into hog in like 2000, and then this is probably the fourth one I did. Okay. So you, you're here, you're in Florida, Are you, you're, you have the ability to see lots of different events, different places, how does this stack up against other uh, runs? Nothing stacks up against the New York City run. Uh, South Florida, they run to the Keys, they run back up from the Keys, they wrap around South Beach, they do Miami. Lots of runs, you know, not knocking them, they do what they can do for, you know, life exists on this coast, life exists on this coast, and the alligators and the sawgrass are in the center. It's just nothing like, you know, running across the 59th Street Bridge into Midtown Manhattan. And the greatest city of the world. That's it. Yeah. Okay, That's we're it. so happy you were up here with us. Thanks, great to be here. So, um, what's your feeling? How was how was this run? I, I think this is a great run. I think it was a great day. Uh, a lot of people were asking me what the numbers were, and uh, personally, numbers are not what makes an event for me. What I saw was a lot of happy, smiling faces, and I, I base I base everything on that. I see people that were having a good time. I see people that were coming out to do the right thing. Uh, raising money to fight breast cancer to help the uh, women and, and men in Queens. Uh, and, and it looked like everybody was having a good time. We have a great band. We have a uh, good group of people. And uh, we had a, a very good crowd. Uh, and like I said, I judge by smiles. When I see happy, smiling faces, that's when I know I'm having a successful event. That's, that's what I'm going to go by. I'm not going by numbers. But I have to say the numbers were impressive because I watched the crowds come in. I watched the bikes roll and I stood up on the edge and watched it and it was kind of gratifying because I know how much work everybody put into it because I, I can just judge it by the, the amount of work that I put into it and I know everybody worked as, at least as hard as I did. Okay, so um, this, you know, Bikers Against Breast Cancer, I mean there's a lot of causes of, that the biker, biker groups or, you know, hot chapters work for, but this seems to be a cause that Somebody, everybody knows somebody uh, that's affected in some way by this. So does that make it any more special to you? Well, you know, it, it, it's funny. Um, I lost both my parents to cancer. My mother to ovarian cancer at, at the age of 43, and my father to multiple myeloma at the age of 83. Um, yeah, it's a personal fight for me. Um, we do a, a raffle. Uh, we raffle off a motorcycle, and uh, in, in raffling off that motorcycle, you find out how many people are touched by breast cancer. It, it, it blew me away uh, while I was at work. I was selling the raffle tickets to my co-workers, and one of my co-workers actually came up and said, Oh, I, you know, I want one. Um, and he had like, you know, $17. And he says, that, you know, I'm going through, and this is a man said that he's going through therapy for breast cancer. He actually had it. And, uh, you know, he was, oh, I'll, I'll get right back to this. He says, don't worry about it. Just take the ticket and fill it out. He actually gave me the $17, and then he gave me the $3 later on. But, you know, I wasn't going to stop him. But it, it's it's amazing how, how close it is to you. you. You don't know. I mean, it's one out of eight women on Long Island in Queens that, you know, have the possibility of having breast cancer. You know, what, whatever we can do to stop it. How, how proud are you that we're like this close to a million dollars? I'd love for it to be a million dollars. I would love to see that. We, we, I would love to see us hit that number today. Um, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you for all your work. Is that you, Bob? I thought it was like it's battery going on. All right. <laughs> Benny, our director. Right. Thank you. All right. I got four. Four, five. I got four. We're going to start from the smallest prize to the top prize. That's the way it's done. So the winner of the $100 cash prize is John Mazzella from Jefferson Station, Massateequa. Who's got a pet?
This one's for the two hundred dollar cash prize. I'm gonna go over and hang out with the Trinidadians over there. They sound like they're having a party. Okay, this one's Jimmy Sister. He wins the $200 cash prize, and he's from Frederick Street, Staten Island. Mike Kanza, uh, 55 North Avenue, and says PV New York, wherever that is, 845 Area Code. So that guy is upstate somewhere. So we'll just reach out to him and uh, let him know. And that was the $400 cash prize. Oh, yeah, you're going to like this one. Denise Nunn from Mansfield Street, Belvedere, New Jersey. She wins $500. And this is the big kahuna right here. This is the big one. Get back here with that, you. Dig, dig in deep. It doesn't matter. The number is 1957 Vinnie <laughs> Okay, Tommy, Tommy Mallow from Flushing, somebody local, won the bike. Looks like he had this ticket a long time, too. It looks like a counterfeit. 1377, we'll call him up. 917 763. 863C. Now everybody should be dialing this number. Oh, we got a, we got a comedian sitting in the front row. Let me take that mask off. It's not Halloween. Watch, you're gonna get voicemail. What do we draw another number if he doesn't answer? What do you think? No, we can't do that. Come on. Answer the phone. He's probably on his way home. He can't hear it because he's on the bike. Your call has been forwarded to the automated voice Hey, Tommy, we're over here at Forest Park, and uh, you need to go over to Holly Davis and the Pippity Motorcycle, because you just won the raffle. You just got yourself a fat girl. 
That's it. Listen, I want to thank everybody for coming. I want to thank the chapter for working hard and promoting this. I want to thank everybody that came out. I want to thank Jimmy and Holly Davidson and New York for sponsoring. I want to thank the band who fucking rocked. I want to thank the Parks Department for giving us a good place to have an event, although it wasn't really that clean. I think they would have failed today, Dave. I'm sorry, but they left us a shit house. We're going to leave it better than we found it, right? Who's that? What about that? Oh, I'm sorry. Come here, he is. I'm going to wipe my mouth out with soap. But again, thank everybody. Um, I want to thank the guys from Sacred Steel who got behind the grill. Thank you. Okay? And, uh, and all the other clubs and all the other chapters that were here um, Wordsboro, Orange County, um, White Plains, Miracle Mile, um, Long Island. Nassau, Brooklyn was in the house, and uh, and everybody else. If I, if I forgot or somebody I just, you know, it's my old time. It's okay. Thanks, and we'll see you next year. Now we can run out. I want to say thank you to everyone who showed up for the Bikers Against Breast Cancer rally today. And because we love to ride, we care, and we have a great time, but we also care about other people. And we showed it today. We were here at Force, we represented, and we're going to be back next year with even more. So I hope to see you.